we're pulling up here to a, a fishing site that's kind of close to my parents' house, not too far away. Uh, Y'all seen Jared's videos. Me and him came out here fishing one time. But uh, we're, me and Jason are going to see what we can get ourselves into. And hopefully it's good conditions for fish. The road ain't good conditions. I think the last time I was out here was probably in high school, so about 15 years ago. It's been a long time, but I think we'll catch something, hopefully. Jason will get crabs, that's for sure. Nothing, leave it, I guess. Did you get a little excited there? I did. Got the first bite in a while. So, hopefully, I'll get back on it. But stuff's starting to move around, so this is good. This is why we're dying, folks. A beautiful shot of chemtrails. Think we're gonna catch anything? Uh, a sunburn, probably. But you're all covered. My face. This is the money maker. Um, it's kind of dead here, unfortunately. Might have to move on to greener pastures, as they say. So I finally caught the uh, first fish of the day. It's a monster. Look at this. It only took Matt moving to the end of the pier for me to catch it, so I think Matt was bad luck. Well, Jason got a another one. It's a little bit bigger. Another little whiting. It's these little uh, bait things we've been using. Those fish bites? Yep, it seems to be working pretty well. Yeah, they were good for whiting. And then you get to reuse it. Looks like a little redfish. Well, throw it back. Good luck. So graceful. I know. Yes, I do kiss Jaylena with that mouth.
So you're getting bites over here? Oh, right here, left and right. But it it had taken my uh I'm hooking them through the head now. Man, it was taking drag. It made it almost halfway to that other light pole and then came off. Think it's a shark or something? Probably like a whale. Probably a pretty good sized drum. Drum. They've been leaving me empty shelled all day. Earlier, Matt said, oh, this must be your day, Jason. All the fish are biting yours. I caught two fish that are total maybe a foot long. Yeah, both of them combined. Well, at least we're getting bites. Yeah, over here they're taking all the bait, which you can't reuse that frozen shrimp and refreeze it. It'll really not stay on the hook. Get all mushy so it ain't worth it. But I guess, what do they say? A bad day of fishing is better than a good day at work. Something like that. But what does it mean if YouTube is our work? Then it's a good day at work. So is it's a, a bad day fishing. It's just as a good it's just as good as a good day of YouTubing. A bad day fishing is just another day at the office. There you go, you heard it. Well, old Matt and Jason couldn't catch crap. So old Daryl and Dale are gonna show them how we do it. We're here in a little creek, cause that's how we roll. Are we on, are we filming? Yeah. Might just catch me some bait, or I might just catch us some dinner. Yeah, so. Who knows? Are you gonna throw it out here real quick? See what happens, you know what I mean? Don't let me down. That's all right. Kinda of weak, but maybe. Come on, Subba. I got a whole lot of nothing. Oh, man. Wait, wait. Nope, oh, thought I got a state. We might eat and be, be eating at Stripes tonight if we don't uh, get us some. Come on, boy. Yeah, I know some of y'all are asking what happened to my arm. Well, Sheila got mad at me last night, so. She slashed him a number. Slashed me a number, and I had to cover it up real quick. Put some spit, some Sweet. dirt. What we got to do is follow these coon tracks, see them, follow them around, see where they're getting them fish from. Oop, I see a whole bunch. I see a whole bunch of them. Get them. I done caught me a lure. Reckon we can use this one? Dang it, son, I ain't eating that shrimp. We don't catch us a hog with this, it's a free lure. It must be my lucky day. So, sometimes you gotta come out here. Oh, Damn, we got fish right here. Look at that. That's free dinner right there. Sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta come fishing over here underneath the overpass. A lot of people think that's not the best place to be. Cause it's unsafe hey, and it's loud. But dang, we caught us some fish over here. Look at this. Ooh wee. Daryl, you doing all right? We can eat them like sardines. Uh, uh, uh. That's dinner if you cook it right. We gotta put that in, in our pockets or something. Where my bucket? You put water in it? Nope. I don't ask you to put water in it. I was using it for the potty. Dump that poop out. Ah! He just throwing fish around like nothing. Let's get that bucket, man. Well, I was feeling fancy. I found me a Corona. Take a sip. <laughs> it don't taste right. Is that what? Jason and Matt were out fishing. Earlier, they're out there for, jeez, I don't know, hours, and they caught two fish. Jason caught two fish. We come out, we came out here, and within 10 seconds, we already caught four. Old Matt said he always catch fish. Ain't nobody better fisherman than him. Well, I'm about to show him what's up. Yeah, 
maybe one day. So if you don't know me, my name is Dale. That's my brother, Daryl. And my other brother, named Daryl, he's up there in Dallas. Daryl in Dallas. But maybe one day we'll get all of us. Dale, Daryl, and Daryl. Show you what real fishing is. I'm the better Daryl. Dale, what you doing? Trying to catch some live bait real quick. He done pooed on himself. Oh man, that's extra flavor. Maybe a catfish or gar get that one. Where do you normally get them, right here? Yeah, about under this last uh, fin. Right in that area, right above the butthole. You don't want to go through the butthole. I got me a live one on, on this pole right here. And then we're gonna cut up one of the bigger ones. We're gonna use the cut bait. I think we're gonna get us some here. What do you say, Dale? Yeah, I think so. At least a, a buzz, because I brought my mics hard. Well, that's some hardcore stuff right there. Let's see, I got poo in my hand now. Just don't there. throw it up there in them power lines. A lot of other people are messed up. Y'all see that, people? Oh, man. Throw it out there and get a big one. Splash. This ground's slicker than a raccoon stealing my marshmallows. We're gonna eat that coon one of the days. I've been telling him. Old Matt said he ain't gonna eat no raccoon. But I promise you, old, old Daryl. I'm gonna go to town on that thing. Now we got our uh, bait out there on the line. The only thing I've been missing all day, my lucky shades. As you can say, it's a little bit scratched up over here. And he's saying, man, you catch a lot of fish with that? And I said, no, um, no sir. They're lucky because Sheila one time, she got flat tire eyes out there on the side of the road, not too far up from here. And I was changing it, and dang old lug nut broke off and pow, Right in the eye. Saved it. Safety glasses. So, my lucky, my, these are my lucky ones. So, we're going to take the fish and see what happens. You know what I mean? Hey, Dale. What? Did you see what I see? What? A good tar. Are you kidding me, people? Why would somebody throw something like this away? What, what you think? Bates Bay, man, I don't know. Are we going to leave with that? I ain't. I am. You're going to leave it? No, I'm going to leave with it. Oh, I thought you said I'm going to leave it. No, I ain't going to leave it. Why am I going to leave it? Perfectly good tire. I don't know. Whitewash and everything. Hey, Dale. Where's your Mike's heart at? Dang. I done messed up. I've seen double vision. You know, a lot of people out there, they say like pirates and stuff, you know what I mean? They wear that eye patch, so uh, whenever it's dark, they can flip it up and they can see real good. Well, you see this mark, this right, right here? You can kind of see both. People think I'm stupid, but I think you're stupid if you don't get it, you know what I mean? You can kind of see good here, and then kind of squint here, see both. You can see through the water and above the water. I don't know. You tell me. When things ain't going so well, and they ain't on and popping here. They on and popping here. Mike's hard. <sighs> Refreshing. <coughs>
recording. Funny story about that white pole I caught that old redfish on. I done caught this pole. One time, I was there at my house. My old lady yelling at me. And I'm like, you know what? I just need to get out of here and fish. So, I went out there to poor man's field. Went on one of them little old piers. Ain't got no lights, nothing like that. Took my lantern. Took my tackle box. And I took two poles. One of them I didn't use. The one I did was that one over there. And I ended up catching this pole right here. I was reeling it in and it ain't, won't, it ain't pulling. I'm reeling it in and it ain't, it ain't pulling. And I really didn't. Then a white stick come out of the water at me. And I'm like, what in the hell was that? It was a fishing pole. It was like God said here, go catch sharks. Go catch fish. Go catch redfish. How do you catch redfish on a white pole? That's a good question, huh? How do you catch redfish on a white pole? With dollar bills, that's how I catch all my fish off them poles. You feel me? My old redfish there, swimming for life. Can y'all see him? Pretty little redfish. I'm gonna grab another mullet. Where in the hell is my bait bucket? Where in the hell? Dale? What in the hell are you doing over there? Boy, we by a highway. I didn't want no stink bait. Hey, when nature calls, right? Go dispose of that crap. Well, call it a day. Call it a day. We got us a nice little redfish we're gonna fillet. Uh, got us some leftover shrimp. We're going, uh, you want to fry them and boil them? Grill them. Make some kebabs? Yeah, let's do that. All right. Maybe all three. A piece of that mullet. We got pieces of mullet. We don't waste up right here. This makes some good sushi. They're pretty good, so we'll take that with us. We got one more mullet in here. That'd be a good little snack for Dad. And can't forget. Can't forget this one. We let this one in the water, keep it nice and fresh. That We're gonna get bad. us. It only been chewed on a bit. Yeah, so it's got a lot of usable meat left in there. It smells so good. So we're gonna do that. You wanna fry that up? Yeah, we'll fry that one up. All right, let's go. Well, since we're done here, we're gonna go ahead and load up all our uh, findings. We got our fish down in here. Got the fish. Can't forget, you know what? The mullet. No, your dang old tire. Oh yeah. That's the that's the pride and joy of all day. Got a brand new freaking tire over here. It's a Yokohama. It's a Yokohama. We're gonna take that on with us because Check it out. shoot, that's pretty good. Look at that. Yokohama. For 20 inch rims. Luckily I just put 20s on my 87 cutlass. There you go. Let's take that thing home. Let's do it. Now we're heading on home and getting out of here and we're gonna go do a catch, clean, and cook for you. Kind of tell you what it's all about. That's what I'm talking about. Let's let's go. Let's go. So you know we done fish right here on the, right off the highway. Right off the highway. You ain't done no saltwater fishing unless you done it by the highway. Yep. Nice highway fishing right here. Alright, we'll see you back at the house. We got some bait, shrimp, kebabs. We got some redfish, fillets, and the backbone. Some crispy tail. up. We got some onions and bell peppers and some chips and salsa. Yep. That's a cast net full of some good fine eating. Look at that. That's that's fish. I like this one. I put me a little Tabasco sauce. Perfect. 